as we move on to a more progressive reality, the world that we live in continues to throw itself into more and more chaos. Looking back about four months ago, D&D Beyond did exactly that. On December 1st, uh, they uploaded this article. It's kind of old news at this point. Dungeons & Dragons has a history of evolving to meet the needs of our players and foster an inviting space for everybody. I understand that. You want everybody from all sorts of ethnic groups and genders to be able to access and play your game and have a good time. I completely understand that and don't disagree with it whatsoever. With that in mind, we understand race is a problematic term that has had prejudice links between real world people and the fantasy peoples of D&D worlds. I don't really understand where they get off to say it has links between real world people and fantasy peoples. We play a game of pretend. We, I mean, at least in my perspective, I've actually had quite a decent amount of racism in my games where there have been towns or cities of maybe humans who don't like elves or um, just, you know, fantasy stuff. Stuff that isn't real. It's kind of weird that they're trying to connect real life racism to fantasy racism. It's almost like they're thinking that the majority of their player base are racists who are going to go into their fantasy worlds to live out their racist fantasies. And I don't believe that is the case. Since the release of the 5th edition of D&D in 2014, we have made the conscious decision to reduce usage of the term race to only apply to the game mechanic. So what they're effectively doing is it seems like they're trying to remove race from their lore or they're just trying to not use race as much. You are living in a fantasy world of your own if you are actually believing that this is going to accomplish something good. You are creating a variety of, of networking like mythological like fantasy worlds and you're trying to act like racism shouldn't exist in these fantasy worlds and it's ridiculous that's like trying to say that racism shouldn't exist in one piece even though it's like a heavily heavily used plot point especially with the amount of slavery that's in one piece let's keep looking at this we took this a step further with the release of Tasha's Cauldron of Everything in 2020, which I did enjoy, when we presented the alternative to character creation that untangled abilities score improvements for your choice of playable people, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with, like, doing that. I mean, homebrews, there's, like, different homebrew versions of races anyway. They're like, oh, there's different kinds of like stat blocks for, for elves, or whatever. We have also evolved the lore of peoples throughout the D&D multiverse to be more diligent in extracting past prejudices, stereotypes, and unconscious bias, biases. It's a good plot point sometimes to be like, oh, this cultists, these, these group of evil people are coming to do harm to these gnomes or something. And they're like going to summon fucking satan to try to commit genocide i don't know but it's like it's usable it's a thing you don't have to just erase it because you're afraid of hurting people's feelings the immense interest and level of feedback across the first few playtest material releases shows us the value in having an open dialogue with our community about everything related to the game uh that's a very that's a very broad term because you could just be like Oh, okay, so we have a lot of interest and we have a certain degree of feedback, which they just say and level of feedback. They never really describe what like that means. There are prejudiced people. There are going to be prejudiced antagonists in stories. I don't understand 
the point of like doing this to the point where they're like and, and, and no it's gonna turn even hypocritical here in a minute we have made the decision to move on from using the term race everywhere in one D and D, and we do not intend to return to that term the term species was chosen in close coordination with multiple outside cultural consultants which is understandable because they are kind of like different species i mean they're different bone structures so tieflings have horns i mean they're they're very different i completely understand that in the survey of this unearth our kind of play test which go live players will be able to give feedback on the term species along with everything else present in the play test material why do i feel like this is i'm missing something here so the whole point that i made this video is because um there was some uh news flying around that they're removing half races from the game which i don't really know oh maybe i found it here bounding into con yeah i found the same article that i found earlier but i don't know the like but we already knew this the half orc was changed to just an orc in the origins ua and there was no half elf so, uh, Dungeons and Dragons to remove half species from player's handbook claims the entire idea is inherently racist. According to this person, I'm not exactly sure where he got his sources from. I'm going to find out. In their latest step forward, the, the Lawn March of the Lost Prophets, Wizards of the Coast. See, literally there, like, in their latest step forward of the Lawn March to Lost Prophets is already kind of, like, a blow. So, what's, like, the... Immediately when you start... Your fucking sentence off with an insult, like, you kind of already lost your argument. Like, I, I saw this article earlier, and I was just like, I actually had to go and find that post in D&D &D Beyond about um, moving on from racist species, which is entirely fine. I, I totally understand why they would uh, say, say that. Because it doesn't negatively affect anything. Just moving on from race to species, because species is actually more accurate because of, like, how I said, bone structure and, and probably just genetic code in general. Like, the races are so different. He's saying, uh, frankly, this is a quote, frankly, we're not comfortable and have been for years with any of the options that start with half. He explained of this decision that half construction is inherently racist, so we simply aren't going to include it in the new player's hair. Handbook. So, so you're saying Crawford said this? So, okay, I don't know if Crawford actually said this. I have to find out if, if Crawford... Where did he, like, say this at? So it seems like more people are talking about this over the last few months. So it seems like race is just generally a touchy subject now for some reason. On the, well, I mean, it's always been in real life, but, like, in D&D, &D, I never really imagined in a fantasy game that race would be that prominent of, like, a problem or something. I just want to see like the actual like is there like an actual quote deal about that i i, I want to know where he actually said this if he said it because it was it like a twitter post or like in general uh, i'm reading that a lot of people are basically claiming that um you still are able to choose like your parents like you can choose like an orc father and like a, a human mother but like the whole idea i guess what they're trying to go for is that you choose the stats from like or the traits of one of the races and then you just change the description of the character to to be like pretty much how i don't i don't get it i feel like it's more diverse to include mixed races so to say that it's inherently racist i think is ridiculous um i can't like clarify or identify if Crawford actually said this. Um, I've been looking everywhere to see if he said this because uh, the only thing I haven't really looked at is like his Twitter yet. Yeah, it's probably like the only place where... So I, I see people making videos about this and, and fucking everything, but I don't actually see where Crawford said what he said. If he did, send it to me. Put it in the comments. Just let me uh, get some of that juicy linkage so I could uh, read the deets and the dims or the twitters. Let me get some of that info. If you actually find out where this guy said what he said, please let me see it. Because I would like to actually criticize that. If he did say it, then yes, he deserves full criticism. Because, like, removing half races is racist. <laughs> like, to, I get it. You're trying... Uh, 
to stray away, you find the term race. I don't understand where you find the term racist. You're, it's literally a mixed race. You're removing that f function from the game. Imagine if you did that shit in, in like real life. If you came out and claimed you were going to re like, well, in a essence, again, they're leaving it to where you can choose your parents and choose your description, but they're removing the half options, which is kind of dumb because they have their own stats. They have their own traits. They have their own information. Why would you remove that information just because you feel like it's racist when it's not all right uh that's really all i wanted to talk about today it's 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 not racist to include mixed races remember that guys um it is racist to exclude mixed races so have a good day Complete.